What's good, y'all? It's your boy Trey here, and we back with another banger. And today, y'all, y'all want to know, y'all click on this video about how to get to heaven. Y'all want to know how to get to So before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow for more content. Yes, like, subscribe, follow for more content. Hit that naughty bell. Share the link to all your friends and family. And like, subscribe, and follow for more content, man. Stay tuned for the more for more of the gospel in the mind of Jesus Christ. Stay tuned, bruh. Stay tuned, man. But now the video starts. And y'all want to know how the world was made. Who the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. Y'all want to know everything that that, that goes oh, happen, yeah. what it is. Y'all want to know everything, man. And so in this video, I will be describing that, man. In the first, so we're going to read some scripture. John 3, 16, KJV. If you have your Bible, so to John 10, John, John 10, 10, and John 3, 16. And after that, we're going to get the video started. Two scriptures to help y'all understand who Jesus Christ is and how precious he is. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might that they, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Jesus can give you abundant life. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can give you abundant life. He can give you abundant life, man. Jesus Christ can give you abundant life. Everything that the enemy takes away from you, Jesus can restore it tenfold. That, that's how powerful he is, man. That's how powerful he is, man. That's how much he loves you, and that's how powerful he is, man. John 3, 16 now. For God so loved the world that he gave his that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever that whosoever believe in him should not perish but, be, but, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ says, if you believe in him truly from the heart, you will have ever lasting life isn't that amazing y'all ha jesus said that you can say this right now on this video lord i believe in you i, I will i will pray with y'all later on in the video now i'm going to describe to y'all how everything was created how everything happened man so y'all can get a better understanding that this is not because of god because of mankind, it's because of what we chose to do, what we chose to do. So I'm gonna help you understand this stuff. So don't be mad at God. Mankind did this, we did this. So in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and God spoke universe into existence, and he said, Let there be light. Genesis 1:3. God designed everything perfectly to his will. God designed everything perfectly to his will he designed you perfectly in your he designed perfectly he designed you perfectly he designed you perfectly in god's image you are beautiful you are amazing you are handsome and you're in the lord's image for, for everybody watch this video god made you amazing man he made you beautiful bro he made you amazing bro in his image man you don't need nobody to tell you that except god man because god loves you bro to keep going but mankind disobeyed god we, we disobeyed god and went against god which is called sin adam and eve <laughs> y'all know about if y'all know about adam and eve this, 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 this is a story the story about adam and eve adam and eve the first two humans to ever be on this earth adam and eve sin and they ate from the tree in the garden god said that that, that god told them not to eat because 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 God told them you shall surely die. So Satan went into the garden and deceived Eve. He told Eve that it was good, that, that it was beautiful, that, that it was all these things. He told Eve that just to manipulate Satan, just to manipulate Eve, just to manipulate Eve, just to deceive Eve. And he got Eve questioning, should I eat it? Should I not? Should I eat it? Should I not? And that's how the, that's how the enemy Try. That's how not try. That's how the enemy deceives us, manipulates us today with a lot of things. Eve obeyed the devil, and mankind fell into sin. So you're wondering, 
how all this happened. If you're wondering, man, man, why, man, why is the world so evil? Why does all these bad things keep happening? God, why did you do this? It's not because of God. It's because of mankind, right? What I just read on my notes. Now I'll be reading Romans 3.23. Romans 3.23. Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God daily. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God daily, man. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God, man. And it's okay. We all mess up. We all sin. We all fall short. But Jesus says, a righteous man falls seven times, but keeps on going. Jesus, Jesus wants us to keep going, no matter how many times we fail, no, no matter how many times we get hurt, Jesus wants us to always keep fighting keep, 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 and to keep going because Jesus says, a righteous man falls, set, fails seven times, but keeps fighting, but keeps going, man. Because it says right here, for all have sinned and fall short and come short of the glory of God. So we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering why this world is so evil, it says it right here. But y'all have, because Eve, Eve allowed that Eve was deceived by the enemy. And it's okay. It's okay to mess up. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not saying go out there and sin. I'm not saying do that. God has grace on your life. And this one, Romans chapter 10. Uh, right now, I'm gonna be reading from Romans six, six through six through ten, and then read from Ephesians, so I, so I can help y'all get a better understanding of, of what I of what I'm all talking about, man. So by the end of the video, you, 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 you will truly accept the Lord and Savior as Jesus Christ. You, you, you truly accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So Romans six through ten, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above, or, or who shall ascend into the deep, or, or who shall ascend into the deep? That 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 is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of God. That, that, that is the word of faith which we preach. The word of God is all around us, man. The word is all around us. The word is everywhere we look, man. The word of God is everywhere we look, man. That's so amazing, man. The word of God is everywhere, man. It's everywhere, bro. Constantly, we need to be filling our minds, having a renewal of the minds, filling our minds to the gospel, filling our minds to the Lord and Savior Jesus, filling our minds to the, with God's word, man, because it's important, man, in this day and age, man. So now I'm going to read from Ephesians 2 8. Ephesians 2 8. That's it. Ephesians 2 8. I was in this two eight. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God. God has grace on your life, and He's given you a gift. He has given you a gift, man. He's given you a gift. But it's by grace you have saved by faith. And why I did mention, at, and why I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, when we speak out faith, and when we say Jesus Christ, I believe in you, a supernatural ab action happens. When we speak our faith, the Lord moves, and the Lord sees that, and the Lord changes our life. So what you doubted, God, God is going to show up in your face. He is going to show up in your face, and he's going to love you and cover you better than anybody ever has, man, because a supernatural action happens. And faith, speaking out faith, faith moves the Lord. Faith moves the Lord, because Jesus says, well done, my good and faithful servant. He says, well done, my good and faithful servant. Jesus wants us to be faithful in him, man. He wants us to be faithful to him, man. Because if we don't, if we don't believe, it's not going to happen. You know? You know? I learned a verse to read. That must be about my personal testimony, my personal life, man. But, you know, if you don't believe, it's not going to happen. Let's go, y'all. I have some exciting news. So I just started my own clothing brand. As y'all see, it is called Warriors Attire. 
It's called Warriors of Tire. All glory to God, man. As y'all see, man, I just, I, I, I've already dropped my first shirt. So y'all can already shop now if y'all want and, and buy some merch, man. All glory to God, man. But this is all for the God, for God's glory, man. Just trying to save souls and attract more souls to the kingdom of God, man. And, you know, just trying to just, you know, put, put more Christian clothing brands out there because we, we need to outweigh the darkness and evilness of this world. So, you know, man, just all glory to God, bro. Really started my own clothing brand, you know. The Lord really led me to because he told me, I want you to start my clothing brand. I want you to start a clothing brand with no money, no product. So I, I did. No money, no product. Just obeyed the Lord and, you know, just, just you know, started my um, clothing brand in faith. And, you know, I didn't question God. just did it in faith. Just obeyed him, man. So make sure y'all shop here, man. Buy some merch. More merch will be coming soon. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name, bro. And remember, y'all, Jesus Christ loves y'all, bro. He loves y'all, man. Never give up. Always follow y'all's dreams, man. Follow your dreams and goals for Lord Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed day, man. And peace, y'all. So, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. And this is where my testimony starts to help y'all out. Second mm. Corinthians 5, 7. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit gave me an encouraging word. Mm. Holy Spirit, man, he's so amazing. For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Jesus called us all by Jesus called us all by faith, not by sight, man. And this is where I talk about my testimony. Now, if you want to know my full testimony, I, it's, it's, it's in the description below. I'm gonna like a short testimony about what I experienced. So, man, on this walk with God, man, I've seen dreams, I've seen visions, man. I've seen visions, man. I literally saw a vision of the of the Lord. He had this um big angel in front of me and he had like, like a sword and um uh, yeah, I'll spin for y'all. It's like a sword. You're standing right in front of me, and I was like a little ant. Somebody the, the, the Lord showed somebody, the Lord showed somebody this in, 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 a, in a vision. They, they got like a prophetic vision and this one, and, and they told me that. And so I've seen visions of of I've seen visions of angels and of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. The angel was 200 feet and I was walking behind him and he was protecting me. And that demonstrates to y'all how much God has covered you. And that demonstrates to y'all how much God has covered you, man. He loves every single one of y'all, man. I've seen that. I, I remember I was at a church service one time, not church service, revival, the Lord revival. I literally saw me ascending into heaven. Like, like you know how Superman, like, so, that's how fast I saw myself flying and ascending into heaven. In a vision, in a vision. I remember one time I was getting delivered, deli deliverance from all my darkness. Y'all know what deliverance is. De deliverance is when Jesus Christ cleanses us and washes us of all our sins. And he, and he delivers us, sets us free from every, every demon that's been in us from our past. I really saw the Lord Jesus Christ's face and his face was just so big and it was just so amazing. And I saw him, he had me right here. He had me right here, man. And um, he just touched me and all the demons went out. And that's just a glimpse of what I experienced. I'm gonna make a testimony video about this, a live testimony. Stay tuned because testimony videos are coming, man. But Jesus Christ has changed my life. Jesus Christ changed my life. And, and, and what I didn't mention at the beginning before I said all this, man, I had no offers in baseball last year. And I, 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 and I ended up committing. Nobody believed in me. Not, in my, not my own family. And I ended up committing. What I do, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, by faith, not by sight. That's just how powerful the Lord is, man. He's really powerful and he loves y'all, man. So, now here's the prayer. If y'all want to know, man, I, want, I, I just want to serve the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After this video, here it is, man. Because the Lord can certainly change y'all's life, man. So I'm going to pray over y'all real quick. So 
y'all, y'all pray with me. Y'all pray with me, actually. So, so say this, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And I believe truly from my heart, and I speak out with faith, that you are Lord and Savior over my life. Lord, I ask that you cleanse and wash me, God. Lord, I ask for forgiveness for every sin I've committed, God, and I repent, Lord, just, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father God, I want to live for you, and I fully surrender every part of my life over to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. God, please take me higher up in you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, I pray. I pray over you now. Holy Spirit, I pray that you fill this person up with the Holy Spirit, God. Fill them up, baptize them, fill them up, and baptize them with your Holy Spirit and fire, Lord Jesus Christ. Fill them up and baptize them with your Holy Spirit and fire, Lord Jesus Christ. God, touch their heart, God. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Help. God, God, I pray you touch them, God. Help. God, God, get them dreams and visions, God. Help them have an encounter with you, Lord. Touch them like the way you do at the glory of Bible, Lord, Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. In your mighty name, Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. God, just pray with me, man. And welcome to the King. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Y'all just pray with me, man. Welcome to the kingdom of God, man. Isn't that amazing? Welcome, bro. Welcome, bro. So make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. Share this link to y'all, friends and family, man. To 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 lost people, bro. Because this is this this is we have a mission. That mission is to share the gospel to everybody. To people in countries that haven't heard about the gospel. And there's person out there. No, oh, let me rephrase it. This could be your last day on earth. <laughs> this could be that. This could be that family members, that person, your girlfriend's last day on earth. Share them this video. Share them the gospel because this is not for cloud or anything. But Jesus called us to share the gospel. So preach the gospel. Just you know, tell them. Tell them about my story and share it with a friend. Share with somebody because this is what Jesus Christ says to do, man. So make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more content, man. I, I, I'm, I'm glad y'all enjoyed my video, man. I put a lot of hard work and hard, hard work and dedication to this YouTube grind, man. To all this grind, because this is not easy to come on here record. It, 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 it's a lot. But y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Peace. Wait! Don't leave yet. What's up, guys? Here's my side news. I am now a sponsored athlete for Underdog Clothing Brand, guys. So, guys, you know, they have some nice clothes, nice shirts. That's a nice, that's a nice accessories, man. That's a nice um, sports accessories. They have some nice clothes for women as well. Um, not, not just men, women too as well. And, and, and you know, they, they, they have some nice stuff, guys. So, so you know, make sure y'all shop there, man. Just it, just shop there. The Lord puts it on your heart to shop there, man. And also, guys, if you, if you use my code Jesus save, you get 15% off, guys. So, guys, make make sure you do that as well, guys. To the Lord lead you to, guys. And also, as well, guys, I'm now, I'm, I'm, I'm also a, um, I'm also a um ambassador for CG as well. I've been ambassador actually for a year and a half. I just never, I uh, never obeyed the Lord and never, I never listened to Him. But um, I repent for that. <laughs> I repent for that, Lord. I'm sorry, God. But you know, guys, let's expand the kingdom. There's too many demonic clothing brands out here. Let, let, let's expand the kingdom of God through clothing. Let's let let's wear more Jesus clothing and let's show let's let's show. Let, let, let's show the unbelievers, let's show the unbelievers that it's cool to be a Christian because our goal is to save souls for for Jesus Christ. So all info, all info will be will be down in the, in the description below, guys. But also for Jesus, also for seek Jesus, if, if, you, if you use my code, homie Trey, you, you get 50% off, guys. So guys, you know, the Lord leads you to shop there, man, shop there, bro, and just, you know, just... Just, you know, let's expand the, the kingdom of God through clothing. Y'all have a God-blessed day, man, and peace.